Welcome to the theatrical play of the universe, of space and of time. This play is directed such that, to us in the audience, time only appears to run in one direction. But why? Who are you and what do you do? My name's Trippy. Ben. Trippy. Anywhere you look, even in these ten particles here, for example, energy tends to diffuse or spread out. The tendency for this to happen, more or less, is called entropy. As a result, high entropy relates to there being utter disorder, while the opposite would yield a very ordered system of particles. How do you direct this humongous play? Since the universe began, it has always been moving into a state of more and more disorder. I, entropy, have always been increasing. It cannot decrease or happen the other way around. It's a law of nature. That completes the puzzle. Ever since this show began, Escalating entropy in things has given a sense of before and after, or past and future, and so one fixed direction of time from past to future has emerged. Then how exactly did your ice cream unmelt back into its original state? Suppose these are the very first particles of the universe at their time of creation, the Big Bang. As they move and their energy spreads out, Going from present to future, their entropy rises. But what if we run this in reverse, from future to present, and even beyond to the past? They follow the same motion. Entropy still increases. Exactly, since in terms of time, we're on one side of the Big Bang, we can only perceive entropy increasing in our direction of time. And backstage, in the reverse direction, entropy still increases, as you saw, going from future to past. And if its increase is what decides the direction of time, then time can also go from future to past. Time can run backwards.